All right, so I'm playing uh, Silent Hill HD Collection. Uh, this part's more of a maze. It's uh, similar to the last part. It's just a maze. Um, honestly, like 10 minutes of watching the maze, you kind of forget exactly what happened before. But like you notice like certain landmarks that stand out. So I just ate more empanadas. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really doing much. I was basically like, I don't know. Like, I was just like sitting there, just like, I tried to play Baldur's Gate and it still wouldn't copy my data. So I'm not allowed to play Baldur's Gate unless I do the entire goblin battle again. Um, and then basically I was like, I don't know. I was just sitting there. I I don't know. That was like what two hours, I guess. I uh, this door maybe. Okay, whatever. So this part's kind of cool because like it's like similar to like Silent Hill One, the hospital scene, except it's like um, instead of like well actually it's like the antique scene in Silent Hill One. Uh, with like the blonde police officer lady except this time um, it's like the blonde uh, stripper like woman who gets like chosen as like the like mother figure in this guy's like wow dude this is actually really difficult Holy shit. Looks like I'm outside now. So all these doors are basically locked. I mean, my main goal is to basically uh, get to Silent Hill, I'm pretty sure. Wow, this, this part is like, like every single door is locked. Just like blew a hole in there like seven. That was pretty legit. Yeah. Everything in here is like wrapped. It's like all like cloth, like cloth, cloth, cloth. I feel like a lot of these doors are all locked. This is where I came from. So basically they were mentioning before like like Silent Hill is like like the, their reality. So like anything else besides like Silent Hill doesn't really make sense like at all. Really don't un I don't understand. I guess this door.
Oh, there's an elevator. I was avoiding the elevator for whatever reason. But the elevator is the answer, for sure. Alright, so I'm going to floor two first, and then I'm going to floor three later. It's pretty funny, uh, before, um, what I was doing was, like, I was, like, sitting there and, like, just, like, looking at my games and shit, and, like, I don't know. I was just thinking about like different on world. Like I really don't even know, dude. Oh, there's a fucking elevator. Oh, there's a fucking elevator. I don't know why I can't reload. Oh, it's shotgun. So this part, it says, like, there are hands uh, searching. So I got the dry cell battery. I got the basement storage key. And it says, uh, part of the wallpaper is torn. I can see something drawn on the wall beneath. Are those hands searching for something? Or are they just a sign of pain? There's a piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring but I will never ever go back there. Okay, so the items that I just got were this and the basement storage room key. So you actually run uh, to the basement from either the second or the third floor or the elevator, one of the three. These hands look pretty cool. They look like uh, the hands in a Souls Bane quest. Uh, you drop down with a rope in uh, Old School RuneScape, similar to how you drop down with a rope to the the swamp in um, Lumbridge, the Lumbridge Swamp, like the gas swamp or whatever. The lantern. Like I, I guess they like kind of uh, like turn like Old School RuneScape into just like jump off points. I wonder if uh like Wolf DNC is gonna play this. Cause I just watched him play Dino Crisis, Silent Hill 1, Tekken 3, um, maybe Resident Evil like all within three days and he beat the entire games yeah I don't I don't remember this area maybe I could look in here there's something that looks like a refrigerator will you open it yes Okay, so my character is unable. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. That's pretty sad. I don't know why I was able to like successfully like get through like like before I was able to easily um, like remember like all the apartment levels and stuff like I thought I was doing pretty well in there but now like I can't really remember this area it's like much more advanced I thought I did pretty well in the apartments I don't know maybe like on look back um, like, it'll be a little bit of a different story, but I can't really tell. Do I have enough help? Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't want to shot There we go.
All right. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what to think about all these doors. That's pretty crazy. Figured I'd try the one that, like, wasn't near any of the doors. I didn't have, like, a visual guide for any of these. I think it was, like, this one. It's like, it's like true horror. It's like doors, the video game. Empty medicine bottles is what Maria was taking. Is Maria sick now too? Oh, that's kind of creepy. This game's like super realistic. Um, all right, so So, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm completely, like, dumbfounded. Like, I got handgun bullets, I got an ampoule. I just grabbed a paper on the ground. Just some doodle. Hmm. Something weird is written on it. She's an angel no one knows, only I can see the lady at the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread, they fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sin, she devours them, sin and sinner alike, she saves me, she is an angel. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get into the basement, bro. I guess I'll try the first floor. I remember he went to the third floor, but I feel like I I tried it. No, he don't. No, no, no. It was on the third floor, because like I know he basically ran over to like the staircase and then he ran down four flights of stairs, which I clearly recall in my mind. You can't actually select uh, the elevator. Um, so at work, like, we have this one form that we fill out, and it's like, it's like 400 selections. And like, the one, uh, the one dude, he basically just sits there, and uh, like, he also makes like the same mouth noise. Like, he's uh, actually a person. Let's see. There we go. I found out where to go now. Oh, geez. Alright, so my health is getting kind of low. I can't believe I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I do have a thing of bullets, so. Yes. I don't necessarily remember this this part of the area either. So my uh I don't know, like I was listening to like uh what's his name? I was listening to Lyric before and he was like like talking and then like he he was basically like, Alright, I'm gonna say four words. And then I'm gonna catch my breath. I'm gonna say another four words. And then I'm gonna catch my breath. And then Gang Squad. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm a part of the Ganky Boys. Alright, so here's a, a save point, which I don't necessarily need to do, but I will, begrudgedly. 
I should like work on like my jogging. Um, I don't know why I need to like detail like my inner Silent Hill monologue, but whatever. I guess like the VR that I can kind of like add to like the whole like possession, uh, deadly premonition, whatever. All right, so it looks like I found the right room. This is incredible. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf, yes. Why not? This is very promising. Okay, so it's like I'm back in the James. antique store. Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost I was killed, almost back, killed there. back there. Why didn't you Why try, didn't to, you save try to save me? All you care you about care is that about dead, dead wife, wife, of, wife yours. of yours. I've never, I've never been so been scared so in my whole life. life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Just, just, then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. So, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. <laughs> That was a funny joke. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met that her. That was a really good joke. I just yeah, feel but sorry she for ran her. Away. <laughs> She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to it's like the main her. character is just like just as bad as like his like stripper friend. What? Shit. Wait, so did I unlock anything down here? What's that noise? Like, did I unlock anything in there? Yes, no. That was just a cutscene. She's trying to mess me up again. Ooh, pain in my ass, dude. I swear to God. Alright, I got the copper ring. I, I just got distracted by like my hilarious joke. One, two, three. Honestly, like the only words I know right now are uh, Forbidden Siren 1 and Forbidden Siren 2 and Forbidden Siren Blood Curse. Those are the only words I know now. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Alright, I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Wow, that's incredible. Her hands are like super tired, and now she has a metal ring on it. It's locked? Are you kidding me? I just put a fucking ring on it, dude. There's a painting one of them in the door. I'll leave the hand part of the 3D painting is actually 3D and sticks out. Why would I put a fucking ring on it if it doesn't open the door, dude? It's bullshit.
Oh, shit. She could help me open the door. The refrigerator door. How am I supposed to know that, dude? I didn't even see that. So I guess I go to the first floor now? Not entirely sure, that's my guess. I don't remember. Hi there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in! Welcome Actually, I think they selected floor two here. I don't know if these dudes like follow me around. Or fails to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It all depends on you. Yeah, and our lucky, of... or should I say, this guy's unlucky here. challenger today is James. James Sunderland. Are you ready to play Tree for Tree? Okay, here's your first question. Merry-go-round. Potted house. Roller coaster. Ferris wheel and teacups. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. The question is, what is the name of this amusement park? One, Fantasyland. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Okay, quickly, on to question number two. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few yeah, years back. I don't remember the theme park and name. Sister were playing in the road. I just played they Silent were Hill attacked and also. Into pieces with an axe. I think it was just called Theme Park, flesh, right? Smashed bones, spattered blood, and finally... The same file was definitely called Theme Park. What a terrible tragedy! What a gruesome end to such innocent lives! Now, the question... What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? One, Walter Sullivan. Two, the Walter Scott Sullivan Fairbanks. who was announced Three, uh, he was in the Eric newspaper Gunn. in the garbage compactor. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Bay. From there to Paleville, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only in, one uh, road stream. you can take. Just one road, no more. Stream two. The third and final question is... What is the name of that road? One, Buckman Road. Two, Rendell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong... <laughs> well then, everybody, oh, thanks for tuning shit. in. shit. You need to know the See answers. Bye bye. Oh, dude. I wrote it down, like based what on the YouTube that? video. I was like top right, middle left, bottom right. Whatever. I mean, the the like wee woo wee woo. Like that's cool. I could just be like the whiny, uh, the whiny Asian, I guess. I'll just like swap into the the wee woo wee woo Asian. All right, so it's two more doors up. I'm straight up lost, dude. Like, I know what room I'm looking for, but... Like, actually getting there? That's a whole nother... That's a whole nother story. I think it was actually floor two that the guy had pressed, I'm pretty sure. But let me check out of these doors anyway, because I don't want to look for this shit. Yeah. 
was floor two. I'm definitely not going to try his like little puzzle thing because I don't even know dude. I don't even want to run in this guy's streets anymore. Perfect. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. Will you open it? Sure. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Not very cute, is it? Here, James, you take it. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> There's nothing in the refrigerator anymore. A hideous smell is coming from inside. Put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. She needed two rings. See, that's that's obviously I'm a fucking idiot. All right, so there's a note on the ground. Inside is some kind of hard to read writing. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Fairly certain he runs all the way down to the basement basement. That's the only thing that really makes sense to me. Oh shit, it's Pyramid Head, what the fuck? I killed her? What the fuck, dude? I had no idea Pyramid Head was down there. Alright, so let's see. Just gotta go to the basement. Oh, 
not too bad. The second floor was just the white door anyway, so. James. That was just very surprising. I feel like I kind of need the ammo though, like on the third floor. Is there even a reason to get like into the second floor? Like now that she's here, like into the elevator? I can't open this second floor door. So now I'm going to go to the second floor. I guess the second floor you're unable to get to unless you are on the elevator, so... I hope I can skip this uh, whole like transmission. Perfect, I can. Thank god. That's the thing about like the second floor, it's like the save point is like not here, so I got the lead ring. kind of late so I don't really like I have like a muzzle on for talking so whatever I put the lead ring on the hand okay So this isn't actually a Mario head. It's a it's a save point. <sighs> I haven't even listened to one of my own streams in like quite a long time. I don't know how loud the game music is or how long how loud like well I know my voice sounds good for sure but I don't know how like the game music sounds well at least I generally kind of know like I listen like the first four minutes um but not enough for like the video game sound did I not get oh yeah, yeah I opened the door already I 
haven't even read this. I can't believe like Pyramid Head shows up here though. Like why why is Pyramid here? Like I cause I opened his like I opened his door with two rings or what? So I guess like <sighs> So I guess like if you if you like put take the two rings off of him then he's here automatically or what <laughs> I guess there's like only so many rings right <laughs> I didn't actually see that when I did the YouTube video, so... I came out of this door. I basically just need to save. I assume it'll be like super obvious somewhere. Oh nice dude. Yeah, that was kind of difficult. 